What's up, guys? Welcome to week 29 of Books Being Sick. I am Nick. Happy to have you here. It's a beautiful day, beautiful kind of cloudy day. I'm shooting on a different camera today. I am shooting on my R6. I usually have my R5 up here, but my R5 is uh, out of commission at the moment. Same lens and everything, but it might look slightly different, maybe. This probably doesn't concern anybody, but I'm just curious to see if it does end up looking a little different. However, aside from that, this is week 29. I'm happy to have you here. Got some fun stuff to talk about, book-related stuff to talk about today. But first, I wanted to talk to you about this channel and the future of it and the structure of it and what I'm going to be changing going forwards, which is really not that much. I'm really just kind of implementing a schedule as to when these videos are going to be released. Because so far to date, I've been pretty sporadic about when these videos are posted. I kind of just wait until I have a free moment during the week, and then I'm like, okay, Let's record and post it. And sometimes it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, it's Sunday, Saturday. It's kind of all over the place. And because this is kind of more of a weekly sort of thing, I want to have a day and time that these are released every week. So it's just the same every week. Uh, it'll help keep me organized and maybe help people just know when they're going to be out so they can don't have to, like, go look. I doubt anybody's actually going to look, but do you know what I mean? So I, I think, uh, well, I don't think. So these, starting now with this one, these videos will be, be released every Sunday between 4 and 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, that is. I live, in, uh, I live in Hamilton, which is in Ontario, which is also in Canada. So Sundays between 4 and 6, these weekly book videos will be released every single week. That's going to be the new structure. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to have a bit more of a uh, routine in this. It's, it's going to help my, my my summer months are always very, very chaotic as a wedding photographer and as a dad and just as a guy who likes to read as much as possible. There's just a lot going on in the summer months. The fall, the, sorry, the winters are a lot less uh, chaotic and I can be a little more, you know, sporadic with my life. But I think implementing a bit of a schedule is going to help me out quite a bit here. And I love doing these videos so, so much. So I'm excited to... Uh, to carry on with it. Um, so yeah, so for today, I've got a bit of a reading update. Uh, I already talked about the new schedule, how my week was. I got the long list poll for Patreon, which is going to be August's sick book club book. Uh, I'll tell you the genre of the uh, of the list and the books that I chose for it. I'm pretty excited about it. And I can also tell you which ones are in the lead. There's a very clear one, two, three, four that are going to be moving on. I was going to move the three on. Uh, we'll talk about it a bit. And then I've got a few thrift finds to share with you as well. Went to a bookstore that I didn't even know existed. It was called Booked Experiences in Burlington, which just on the right on the edge of between Burlington and Hamilton. And it was awesome. I didn't even I didn't know it existed. There was a gas station right across the street and I needed gas. I'd never been to this gas station before. Was filling up, looked across the street, saw this little shop that said books on it and I was like, "Oh, what the heck?" So, popped over there, and I'm so glad that I did because right off the B I, as you guys may or may not know, I love the book Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry. It's one of my favorite books that I've ever read. It's a top five. I think it'll be a top five for the rest of my life. It's very hard to imagine um, that there are that many books out there that could knock it out of a top five. Maybe it'll be top ten, but I think it's going to be top five for the rest of my life. It is amazing. Anywho, I have always wanted to read Streets of Laredo. Because it's the follow-up to Lonesome Dove, and I, you know, I, I don't know that it's going to be, it's going to live up to Lonesome Dove, but I'm so excited to just continue on with Larry McMurtry's writing, and I have not been ever able to find it in store anywhere. And she, at this bookstore, Booked Experiences, had two copies of it, so there's one there. They're both first editions. I will be giving a one, one away over on the Patreon, hoping that only people who have read Lonesome Dove enter that one, because I don't know if it's hard for you guys to find these ones, but it's been very tough for me to find them. Of course you can buy them online, but I try to find them in person as, as often as I can, so I was excited about that, and... The real, real exciting one was this paper back here. You may or may not know what this is just by looking at the quickly at the colors and shape of it. But this is the Bachman Books by Stephen King, and it includes the story Rage, which has been out of print for about 20 plus years now, I believe. And it's a book that I don't think is supposed to be great. <laughs> People who have read it typically say like it's not... It's not his best work, but still, if you're if you're trying to complete the Stephen King um, catalog, you got to include Rage, and Rage is really hard to find. So I was really pumped to find that. It was four bucks, um, which is also crazy. So happy about that. So got some fun thrift finds there. My reading update for the month is that the month is going okay. It's been a really busy month. I only put four books on my docket for this month, and I'm through almost three of them. 
Wizard and Glass is the only one that I still need to start. We're at July 21st. I think I can do it. I'm going to start it tomorrow, I'm hoping. I got to finish Hard Rain Falling, which I think I'm going to finish today or tomorrow morning, um, and then I can jump into Wizard and Glass, and I'm going to go hard on Wizard and Glass so that I can finish finish it before the end of the month. Um, and if a miracle happens and I end up having a few extra days, I'll throw another book in there. But as for now, this month is was High Fidelity, fantastic. Fight Club, also fantastic. Hard Rain Falling, which, my guys, this is, uh, this is something to behold <laughs> this is uh my goodness it it really is quite fantastic at first i wasn't really seeing the comparisons to the john williams book that i love and the dostoevsky comparisons a lot of people compare don carpenter who who is the author of this book to as the american dostoevsky and the, these things i wasn't really seeing uh throughout the first few chapters but then it started rolling in and i was like oh, okay here we go here we go there's especially i, I want to say it's chapter eight or chapter nine where uh one of the characters we're following is just kind of talking about his life and and the end of it and like the potential end of it anyways and it's it's so it's so Dostoevsky, and I've only read two Dostoevsky books, but it's just like it oozes that from in, in, in an American way, and I loved it so, so much, and I, I am seeing the comparisons to the uh, John Williams book as well now. It's just way more hardcore, I guess you would say, you know what I mean? Um, excited to can carry on with that one. If you have not checked this out, I would highly recommend trying to find a copy and giving it a go. It is also on Kindle, so if you have a Kindle, you can give that a go. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I, uh, I'm really, really liking it. It is going to be up there. Again, I've, I've got about 90 pages left in here, but I, I, it's going to be hard to for me to... It's going to be like... A, it'll be a top five of the year so far, um, ha hands down. So say what you uh, will about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I'm a little tired. I got a lot of sun yesterday at a wedding I was shooting, and I'm a, feel a little dehydrated, and I had a bunch of coffee again. But it was iced coffee, so, you know, so, like, somewhat hydrating. Hmm. Anywho. Uh, yeah, so, I will get into the poll now, because why not? I know, um, I love polls. Polls are, like, my favorite part about the Patreon. I love putting polls together, and I just love voting on polls. I can vote on my own polls, and it's just, like... I just like it a lot. So for August, I decided to do a fantasy month. A lot of people have been asking for fantasy over on the uh, on the Sick Book Club Patreon, and I decided, like, let's just do it. I was going to do a horror month, but I think I'm going to save that for the obvious months, whether that's September, October, November, somewhere in there. Uh, maybe we'll do two horror months in a row. I love horror books so, so much, and I feel like trying to force people, not force people, but just tr really trying to encourage people to read more horror books would be a lot of fun. That being said, we're doing a fantasy month for August, and I, with the assistance of my wife who reads a ton of fantasy books, she helped me put this list together here, and I'll go through it with you real, real quick here. The From top to bottom, the options are Slewfoot, Assassin's Apprentice, The Lies of Locke Lamora, Jade City, Circe, or Cirque, by Madeline Miller. I never know how to say that one, actually. Swan Song by Robert McCammon, Priory of the Orange Tree, Ninth House, Empire of the Vampire, A Darker Shade of Magic, The Heroes, Discworld, Gardens of the Moon, The Bear and the Nightingale, and The Black Tongue Thief. And to be honest with you, I would be pumped to read any one of these. So I'm excited for whichever one pulls it off. So far, so I'm going to say Cersei because I I, 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 sw I promise I'm saying that wrong because I never say anything right. But that is what is in the lead at the moment with 22%. It is miles ahead <laughs> in terms of in terms of uh, in terms of votes. Anyways, it's 22% uh, doesn't sound like a big number, but the next one only has 13%. That's Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. And then we have Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb and Slewfoot by Brom. So I think I'm going to bring over the top four. I was going to do a top three, but Assassin's Apprentice and Slewfoot are so close, and both of those I'm very interested in reading. And so we'll see what happens. You know, it's, it is it is always... It seems kind of obvious that like Cersei is going to win because it's in, at 22%, but sometimes all the people... You know, there's almost 80% of people that didn't vote for Cersei, so when I do the top four, all of those people could vote for different books. You never know which one's going to actually end up pulling it off. And, um, yeah, so we'll see. But again, I'm excited to read any one of those. I loved The Song of Achilles so, so much, so would be excited to read another Madeline Miller book, but also... I've never read Robin Hobb and Assassin's Apprentice. I have a copy of, and I, I'm dying to read it. I could just, I know I could just start it, but it would be fun to read as part of a book club, I think. Slewfoot, I don't know anything about, but 
Um, my wife said it's amazing, and a lot of people love it. So I'm excited about that one if it wins. And also Ninth House by Lee, Lee Bardugo. I know Lee Bardugo is a very popular author. Another author that I've never read. So, yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I'm just noticing here now that Swan Song by Robert McCammon is also at 8%. I'm going to do a top five. We're going to bring Swan Song over as well. I know, I, I can't remember if it's on here or on TikTok or Instagram. There's someone that's doing that thing where they're like day 28 and of posting until he reads Swan Song. <laughs> so if Swan Song wins, at least um, that gentleman will be, uh, will be pleased. Um, it does seem like a pretty fantastic book. So if it does win, that would be really cool. Uh... Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I had to say for this week. Kind of a, again, I haven't been doing a ton of reading this week, so I apologize. I don't have, like, a, an enormous amount of stuff to talk about. Um, personally, I am having a pretty great summer. I'm having a pretty great, great week. This is kind of, um, I was like, do I even, I was going to mention this just because I thought it might be, uh, might be worth mentioning, but I've decided that, uh, and this is something that I've wanted to do for a while, and I hope this doesn't come across as, like, I, I, I debated even talking about this on here, because I don't want to be, like, I don't want to be, like, eh. <laughs> but, uh, I've decided to introduce sobriety into my life, and I'm excited about that. This is something that I've kind of been wanting to do for, let's say, a, a number of years now, anyways. I've, 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 kind of fiddled with it here and there, but I've decided I'm just gonna go full bar with it, and, kind of just just make it happen you know what i mean so i uh was i was kind of thinking in my head do i even mention that on the youtube or is that weird but i i thought to myself i'll mention it because it'll just be that much more motivation to kind of just continue with it i you know i am i i if i'm uh, honest with you guys i am someone that kind of I have a very addictive personality, as may be evidenced by, you know, just starting reading, and now I have all these bookshelves full of books, but I'm trying to direct my ad addictive personality to positive things like reading and skateboarding and just some other things that I'm trying to kind of do in my life that are more productive and more fun. And, you know, because of my addictive personality, I do struggle with things uh like alcohol and, and and all that sort of stuff so i i'm i've decided that instead of just trying to cut back or limit my intake i'm just gonna i'm just gonna cut it out completely and i i'm pretty excited about this i know it's very very early on this is a recent decision but i'm i'm pumped to uh uh, to have that be a thing, and to maybe just, uh, I, again, I, I'm not going to be preachy about it at all, I, like, I wish that I could responsibly just have a beer, or with friends, or just go out for a beer, or a drink, but unfortunately, I'm just not that kind of person, I, I need, like, 37, <laughs> you know, if I go out, so, um, it's, it's, that's, it, that's a me problem, I, I, I wish that I could kind of carry on and enjoy it, but I, I, I can't responsibly, so I'm just cutting it out, the, I'm never going to be preachy about this uh, ever, so let that be known. But uh, I will just maybe kind of keep doing little updates here and there um, for those who uh, would be interested in following that sort of experience with me. Um, and that's uh, that's really all I have to say about uh, my life. <laughs> Sorry if that was weird. I was like, do I? Uh, Sorry if that was weird. Um, back to books. Back to books full time. Excited to, uh, to to get Wizard in Glasgow and excited to finish Hard Rain Falling. I hope you guys are having an incredible week of reading. And I uh, will see you next Sunday between 4 and 6 for the next... I guess it'll be week 30. Um, we, are, we are getting there. We, 30, 30 videos. Oh, you know what I also wanted to mention that was really cool that I, I logged in today and saw? We hit, I, we, <laughs> I hit 20k subscribers on, uh, on YouTube. So 20,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for that that is uh that's pretty pretty incredible typically what i do uh with any micro celebration celebratory things like that is i'd be like oh let's let's go have like 87 beers tonight You're like i deserve it <laughs> but i'm sticking to bubbly tonight and i'm excited for that anywho thank you for 20k subscribers a very very much appreciated guys i love 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 doing these so so much and um i'm kind of rambling at this point so this has been books are sick i've been nick thank you for watching and we'll see you next sunday Bye bye